We had no intention of becoming grape growers, but then we received privatized land, and the idea was to start a vineyard, keep some of the yield, and sell the rest to manufacturers. That's what we did. But there came a point when it was no longer profitable to work with manufacturers. My son said, why are you worried? We'll start making wine. We thought we might create Karabakh's own wine brand. In past centuries, our village, Tolk, was famed for its wine. So we wanted to restore our old winemaking tradition. But we were concerned that our efforts would be in vain, because our local grape varietal, the Khendogli, was not exactly a household name. Our region, Hadrut, is ideally suited for growing Khendogli grapes. I brought Arani grapevines from Armenia and planted them on a hectare of land, but the results were disappointing. Likewise, if you plant Khendogli grapes in Arani, there's a good chance that it's not going to work. After giving it much thought, we decided to name our wine Kataro, inspired by Kataro Monastery, which is located at the top of our mountain here. Initially, we produced 5,000 bottles. Our wine earned quite a bit of recognition. People liked it and demand went up. So the following year, in 2011, we produced 15,000 bottles. There was a wine competition in Armenia with judges from abroad. We didn't even know that our wine was entered into the competition. The organizers had bought bottles of it from some store, along with some other wines. Our wine ended up winning first place. Today, so many people come to our village to see our vineyards, visit the winery and taste our wines. If you put love into the wine, if you produce quality wine, it will sell abroad as well. We export our wines to Russia and European countries, including the Czech Republic, the Baltic states and Sweden. We're also planning to export them to the United States. These are our fermentation tanks, in which wine is both fermented and stored. We have a staff of eight, all of whom are local residents. During harvest, the number of our employees can reach 40. We focus on maintaining quality. Instead of trying to increase production, we concentrate on making wines that are of the highest possible quality. I think Kataro can already be viewed as an established brand. People like it, drink it and praise it. I think we can say that Karabakh now has its own brand of wine.